What's up? What's going on, everybody? I'm Brian, B Rex Beekeeper, and it's nighttime. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, why am I out here at night? Well, remember last time when I said don't put your extracted supers back on your hive during the day because you might do a rob? And I was like, yeah, maybe I'll do it anyway. So I did it and I did cause a rob. Well, that's what I'm doing. I extracted uh, those 40 frames. They were not full. A lot of them were like half. What is this dangling? Huh. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm going to go in here at night when you're not supposed to be uh, opening up your hives. You want to see your uh, nice, calm hive turn angry. Yeah, go out there at night. <laughs> so suit it up. I probably should put some gloves on, but I don't. Nah, I'm not going to. And, you'll probably see me run away and grab my gloves but hopefully not so yeah uh i am going to put these on at night it's like yeah, almost nine o'clock and yeah so yeah i extracted that honey and there's already a bee on me because of the flashlight and uh yeah about six gallons okay and uh it would have been like 10 if uh, they're full but they're all not full so anyway uh I picked my hives I want to put them on and one was I remember it was weak but I'm gonna put it on there anyway I thought maybe it'll you know help them out a little bit I don't know we'll see I'll check them again in a few days and see if they're still weak or if they're bouncing back but anyway uh, let me get started on this and uh, maybe you'll see a show because I'm not going to use a smoker <laughs> why because I'm out of pine needles and I don't feel like walking around in my woods at night looking for pine needles so this is a huh, dog. So this is uh, probably going to be very interesting. So hopefully you all can see it. <laughs> see you in a minute. All right. Uh, hope you all can see me good. Got my flashlight over there. Had my flashlight out earlier and bees are all over me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, they don't like flashlights. I'm telling you right now. I know this from experience. You know, if you don't believe me, go out to your bee yard, you know, at night, shine your flashlight. <laughs> and yeah, you'll, you'll know real quick. So, like I said, this is probably not going to be fun. I don't have my smoker because I don't, I'm too lazy to go around looking for pine needles. And I'm probably really going to regret this. Uh, the last time I did this at night was before I was making YouTube videos. And I went out here in shorts in a t-shirt with just a veil on, I probably couldn't count how many stings I've had that day. That was not smart. I had literally opened one hive and took off running to get my uh, long pants on and a bee suit. So yeah, that was actually when I had much angrier bees than these. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, let me get one ready. Put it on the uh, queen excluder now so the flow has started i know that for a fact it's definitely started i put my queen in, or put my extractor outside and there's probably 100 bees checking out and that's it so hopefully hopefully i'm good here we go all right girls i'm coming in coming in go slow oh yeah they're pouring out okay do not make that big crackle noise I may have to run and get my gloves There's one sting. Yep. I might have to get my gloves. Ugh. I'll be right back. That was like six stings in two seconds. Well, there's uh, how the knot to do it. 
I don't even know why I did this without gloves, honestly. Especially from my last experience. Heck. Now you're all probably wondering also why I'm not using a smoker. It's like that last time I did this when I came out here in shorts and t-shirt, I smoked them. If I remember right, I smoked them. And it didn't do a thing. Woo! Smell bananas. I'm giving you girls some stuff here. Stop yelling at me so much. Okay. Okay. There's one down. They're for sure not happy with me. All right, let me check uh, this other one real quick. I'm gonna go down here at the end. Use my flashlight. There's bees all over my flashlight, literally all over them. All right, so if I remember right, this one was looking good. They were definitely ready. All right, so let's do this. All right, coming on in. Don't sting me. Okay. I don't want to thump this like I normally do. They're already not happy with me. This much calmer. Another one. Whew. That other one was a little weak. That was the weak one. Yeah, I gotta check that one. I'll uh, probably go out in a couple of days. Okay. Well, they found me. I found some ahead. Two more. All right, that one that's right here overflowing, that one's getting one. And the one next to it. Where's that one next to it? Was that the really weak one? Ah, oh, well, I don't know. I gotta get, I gotta put the box somewhere. Right. Let's do this really healthy hive. This hive is booming. I remember this one was really good. So hopefully they're still calm, even at night, hopefully. Just chill, just chill. Giving you more stuff. trying to sting my glove. <laughs> that one went better. Oh man, there is definitely nectar flow. Oh, it smells good. Oh, that one's split. Oh my gosh, that's that smell. I know my orange trees are starting to bloom, so and there's an orange grove not too far from me. Maybe they're getting some of that. Oh, stupid curve thing.
what I do with the lid. But, oh. Okay, cool. All right, so that will do it. Uh, yeah, like I said, last time I did this, I got stung, I would say at least 20, 25 times, it, at least. I went out here, shorts, t-shirt, and just a veil, because I figure, you know, I got my smoker, you know, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. No, uh, they were not fine. It was bad. I had bees going all the way up my legs, stinging me all over. I was getting stung all over my arms, my armpit, back of my knees. You want to get stung in the back of your knees? Oh, no, that's not, that's, that's not a fun one. But anyway, uh, yeah, I smoked them and everything. They, they, they didn't care. So that's why, that's another reason why I didn't bring it. I mean, yeah, I was out of needles, but it wasn't going to make them any calmer. I tell you that from experience, from doing this at night. This is not the time to come out to your bees, but if you want to prevent a rob when you put your honey exclude honey supers on that you just extracted back onto the hives, this is the time to do it. Uh, you will cause a rob, especially early spring like it is right now for here in Florida. Uh, there's not there's is a flow, but I just wanted to be cautious. Last time there was a flow when I videoed. It's not much of a flow, but there was a flow, and I did it anyway, and yeah, I, there was, yeah, bees everywhere. Cause a rob. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's what you do with your, that's how you put your uh, stuff on. Put them on at night. <laughs> and wear gloves. Oops. Dummy. Dumb. Anyway, and we got like six things in my hands and fingers. So anyway, uh, I'm going to be back out here in a couple of days to check on the hives, uh, see those weak ones see how they're doing and i'll see y'all then see ya later